Hi, I am Nakai Hurst and uh, I have this thing here. It's for the Seamless 100k project and uh, let me just play through it first. First of this pad, this chord uh, pattern, this is how it sounds. So the thing is with the bass, it flies to every note, but uh, here in uh, this A sharp, it slides to F2, but it jumps onto F1, it's making, making it more interesting. And uh, I have the waveform set to this shape. It's basically a mix of the sine wave and the square wave, but it's not so dense as a so wave. I have the high and mid frequencies cut off to act as a bass, and uh, in this maximus I use a band distortion. I making it it by making the attack and release set to zero so it distorts and I only uh, distort the uh, low frequencies so it's creating basically high frequencies the distortion but it uh, only strongens the low frequencies so it's making it a really good bass and sub I also made it mono just for should be sure to not uh, having any interference and uh, I have a little compression here to make sure that it peaks at 0 dB all the time I mean in the 0 dB in the maximums but not in the mix and I have this pad here it's a harm or preset it's, it's a preset of mine it's made up by two parts the B is using a bit thicker unison and the A is, is not, of course. Both have harmonizer and the B, ha B has blurred mode and A in has a classic mode. I don't really know the difference but I just experimented and it sounded better. I have a delay, reverb and big compression set in Maximus. And I link the low pass to the Z modulation and make the, it a, a, a little bit low pass. I the width is at the maximum, so it uh, it has some high fre frequencies, but they are more silent than this uh, down there. So it, it's a nice transient. I cut off, cut off the really low frequencies to not cause any trouble and in this compression I don't do nothing much uh, only a bit stereo separation to make it more wide and to make it wider and uh, lower the pre-gain so it's not over compressing right So the third pattern is this uh, super so it sounds like this So 
so the MIDI is, uh, I wanted to say unique, but it's uh, really common in the progressive house. Uh, so it's working like I have this chord, it uh, repeats itself, but the highest note changes and it's making the melody. This is the same preset as this pad, but I have no um, low pass. So yeah, the, the basically all the same. And I have the low frequencies cut off and the maximus is working a bit different because I said the attack and release and I had a bit low. So it uh, the strong uh, the co compression is a uh, stronger but almost the same sound as a pad so the next pattern is this lead it's a uh, it sound like this So it's it's a, um, a more unique sound. It's a, it's another preset that I made. This is also made up by two parts. The B has much thicker unison and harmonizer, and the E A is uh, A has lower pitch thickness. And they are smashed together with distortion and compression and also set this uh, mix between the E and B parts to around 30% I believe and uh, to the Y knob the, uh, the pluck amount is uh, linked to the Y mod and the low pass is linked to the X mod and this low pass is uh, keyboard tracking and has the width to zero so when I set it to a low amount and also the plug it uh, creates a unique sound So I engaged quickly the portamento because I originally made it a sound with this porta, but I don't use it because I have the cutoff set to basically nothing because uh, it's at max, so it don't cut off any frequencies. So it acts like more like a uh, lead, plug lead, but it's also like a sphere like a saw wave going into the square wave because of the distortion when the high harmonics disappear because of the plug the low harmonics gets this get distorted and uh, they sound like a square wave because of the distortion I cut off the low frequencies all again and uh, I have a uh, bigger compression basically this is distortion because the attic and release is at zero stereo separation and I made the pregain a bit lower to not compress and distort too much so now the more difficult sound such as this FM sound it's a uh, it's made in this uh, patcher and uh, by this citrus. Uh, it's an FM sound, I said it, and uh, the two modulates uh, one, three modulates two, and fourth modulate third operator. And uh, the modulation of the second operating first is linked to the X knob and the X knob is linked on the surface to this knob 1 and also the s second operator has a unique shape so it started out as a triangle wave then I converted it into 
sign harmonics and uh, it looked like this I messed with the <coughs> I messed with the phases and uh, some of these levels until I got something I liked so it's just it was just experimenting then I uh, put an EQ before the distortion and basically the same EQ after the distortion so yeah then I put this Maximus in the mixer here and this basically doing the same thing all over again cutting off the subregion and distorting it once again so next this uh, wormhole wormhole named the sound sounds like this so yeah it's made with a uh, harmor I have a big harmonizer set and uh, Unison with nine voices and uh, the Unison pitch thickness is set to zero at uh, the low frequencies to prevent the sub from interfering. I also have Porta uh, engaged to make this little slide it's because of the Porta. I have a little prism Yes, and uh, the main sound, the main thing that's causing this sound is the resonance moving. So this resonance offset, I uh, automating the resonance offset. And this shape is the wormhole. This is where from it's got its name. It's a preset. And so I have this LFO moving like this and this envelope and the envelope is basically moving the LFO's starting point here you can see it here as the maximum goes uh, lower and higher yes and uh, FX I have a huge distortion compression also reverb and delay because I have space for them and an EQ cutting of the really high frequencies because of this uh, resonance when it goes high it uh, crashes the whole sound so it's, it's causing a lot of trouble so I cut off the treble uh -huh. and this uh, compressor I mono the sub it seems and separate the hole but it uh, don't uh, affect the sub because it's all already monoed. So yeah, and the uh, master I have zero attic release, and it making uh, another distortion. Yeah, so the mixing isn't really different at this sound. So next up, this bass named pattern, which is basically not a bass. I just named it like this because this preset is named Bass. So this is how it sounds. So it has a good punch because of this unison peak pitch thickness uh, envelope. The pitch is at max, the pitch thickness is max, but it goes down to zero pretty fast I have a prism here a prism to make it even more to cause me even more interference yes and the AQ is cutting off this really low frequencies which I also cut it out in the master so it's basically doing nothing this EQ anyway uh, there is this compression it's basically the same as the a wormhole so cutting off really low frequencies and distorting the hole again and this I distorted here it here distortion compression delay reverb all kind of cool stuff <coughs> so lastly this pattern named flanger I made this in uh, GMS 
and uh, I use this beast wave shape to unison voices at uh, maximum stereo wideness and uh, I have this LFO here it the amount is at maximum so it's make it's a uh, jumping from nothing cut to all frequencies cut so it's uh, like a uh, level automation level LFO and I also have this flanger activated and I uh, automate this uh, X parameter and by moving uh, this knob it basically the flanger causes some frequencies to resonance and it uh, sounds like it uh, going up the the pitch is uh, rising it's because of how the flanger is treated with uh, phase interference and I have this uh, EQ here it's cut off some low frequencies so it's not doing too much and I'm sh gonna show you how it looks like this uh, EQ So yeah, and I have a maximus over the EQ, it's basically just distorting and uh, activating stereo separation and cutting at low frequencies, so the same thing that the uh, previous compressors do basically. And so this was the 100k submission. 100k project submission and I hope you all learned something new and I hope you enjoyed bye bye